Well, our company has a pretty unique history, and it's not one that's often told, but uh, really one that's founded on innovation. Uh, we're a fifth generation family company, actually one of the very last of the independent family distillers in America, uh, most of whom have been consolidated with uh, the larger companies now. Uh, we were established in 1912 by my great-great-grandfather, who was an immigrant from Russia. And we got into the spirits business in 1935 after we were a wholesale company for some time. One of our sales reps noticed that men were putting peppermint candies in their young, poorly aged whiskey after prohibition here in the, here, right here on Washington Avenue in Minneapolis and uh, using it to flavor up the whiskey, sweeten it up a little bit. And it was his premise that uh, maybe America needed a peppermint schnapps. And we soon thereafter introduced what did become America's first schnapps brand. Uh, furthermore, in the 1950s, we created the flavored vodka category, colored flavored vodkas. Uh, in the 90s, uh, my father's brainchild was luxury vodka, so Belvedere was the brand that we launched. And now we're shaking up the whiskey category. Phillips Union is uh, our attempt at really revolutionizing the whiskey category. It's a brand that's to shake up uh, positioning, packaging, and most importantly, people's perceptions about whiskey. Far too many people think of whiskey as being, and rightfully so, mind you, but harsh, burning, uh, really uh, based on heritage and authenticity and tradition. Uh, good old boys in suspenders sitting on porches in Tennessee and Kentucky or playing golf in Scotland, cigars, snifters. And that, in our estimation, uh, is the past and, we're, and, and something to be proud of, but we think that there's an interesting future for whiskey. And we're trying to shake it up much like we did vodka uh, about uh, almost 15 years ago. And that's to reposition it, re-energize it, and Phillips Union is the first effort to do so.